Alrighty then, howdy y'all, and welcome back to Death Stranding. And in today's episode, we're going to get some orders. Actually, we're going to look at our mail. Let y'all read this. Okay. Uh. Ah, supply requests. Submit one if you're in need of anything in particular. This was a trophy. This is a trophy. Distro Center. Okay. I was supposed to a uh, thing to issue. Get me a trophy. Alright, next. We're about we got about ten more. What do we hit fab? We've added a time fall shelter option to your PCC. Nice. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Sweet. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sweet. Yes, Sam, please. I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. Go. Cool. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. Cool. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Which I don't have none. Which I have none on me. We got some bot orders. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. What else? I'll do it. Where's this need to go? The time fall farm. That's nice. Next on your agenda is a visit to a time fall farm. You're probably wondering how that works, since time fall ages and eventually kills living organisms. But in controlled amounts, Time fall can hmm. be used to grow plants at record speed. We're not talking about double or triple cropping. The process can yield several years worth of produce in a single 12 month cycle. A couple runs the farm. One used to be an environmental scientist. 
He left the city to experiment with timefall as a means to turn the desert soil of void out craters into arable land. He's also done research into gene modification to create plants capable of withstanding the rapid growth. His work caught Amelie's eye when she and her group were heading west. A sprinkle of rain, a burst of growth, and if you cut the water off at just the right time, you've got a farm that functions more like a factory. Cool. Our recent advances in weather forecasting should allow him to plan ahead and produce even more food. We have some genetically modified wheat we need you to bring to him. Connect the Cupid while you're there. Check your weather. According to this, I'm not going to be going in time fall. Gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. 
But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now. All right, so let's check our clock. Hold on just a sec. <laughs> Happy music. There's the farm. I thought this was the farm. They got me. But they can't cross, so... So we're here. <laughs> and we took what, 15 minutes? Not too bad. Network. 
Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Without me, did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. Yep. So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. Hmm. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Cool. using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but without the ability to predict Timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The Timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. <laughs> All right. So access delivery terminal or further information. I will be seeing y'all in the next episode of Days Gun or Death Stranding. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell to get notified on all my upcoming videos. So I'll be seeing y'all in the next episode. Bye bye. And take care. So on our turn on our trip back we're gonna have rain. gonna be a sad day because there's gonna be rain come kind of flowing in that sucks so see y'all in the next one bye bye and take care